in this video I am going to show you ruffled high neck. This is one of my viewer request. I am making this neck in a peasant blouse which I already cut out. So watch peasant blouse video on my channel if you want to know how to cut and sew that. And today I am showing you this neck and little bit about its designing. So let's get started. For this design I cut a 5 inch slit at the back without cutting any neck. I just kept the back neck straight and the front neck is one and a half inch deep for this design don't cut any deeper than that and this strip I'll sew it to the bottom and sleeve edges and to the back slit and also two strips for neck band one and a half inch wide and the length is the round measurement of neck so our first step is to attach binding to the slit so take a 12 inch long and about one and a one fourth inch wide strip and attach it to the wrong side of the slit. This way of attaching binding is called continuous binding because we start sewing it from one end of the slit to the other end without breaking at the bottom of the corner. As you see I just set the other side of the slit straight and keep stitching to the end. Now double fold it toward the right side and run a stitch. If you want you can set it like this and attach a button at the top and but I am attaching a button and loop here and will keep it open like this. Now our second step is to run basting stitch all around the neckline. So for that set your machine on longest stitch and then after uh, that pull the bobbin thread. To make gathering, I think it's very easy to hold both ends of the thread and pull. This way it's a lot more easy to have even gathering all around. Plus you don't lose one end accidentally. So our next step is to take a long strip. One and a half time more than the total size of our neck measurement. And about one and a half inch wide. So hem the short edges and one long edge by double folding. Uh, I'm not doing the short ones because mine is on salvage, so no need. After hemming one edge, run a basting stitch on the other edge. Uh, but instead of gathering, you can also pleat. Uh, that's up to you if you like. So after finishing the seam, pull the bobbin thread to make gathering in this strip. Now attach this gathered strip to one and a half inch wide neck band. Leave a little bit space for seam allowance at the beginning and at the end. So first set the gathering nicely then run a stitch over it. Now watch carefully and see what I am doing to the end of the frill if you want the same effect in the back of the ruffle then follow this step now take the second strip of neck band and sew it on top of the frill So the frill is basically sandwiched in the middle. One neck band is at the bottom and the other is on the top of the frill. While making this ruffle band make sure both strips right side are facing the frill. At the end do repeat the same step of sewing ruffle end to the edge for creating this look.
Now stitch the sides but watch out for the ruffle to not catch that in the middle. Do the same to the other end. Now the neckband is ready but to reduce the bulk cut off the extra fabric. And this is how the look is. After attaching to the neckline this is how it will look. But before attaching always check that both ends are of same size. If there is any difference then cut it off. Once the band is ready make sure the neck size matches the neckband. So align all seams and check carefully. Now carefully pin up one strip of neck bandage to the sharp neckline from wrong side. It's almost the same way as we do to the Chinese neck. How we attach that to the neckline, it's the same way. After attaching one strip of collar band to the neckline, just turn the other strip of collar band over the raw edge and run a stitch over it. So after pinning up one edge, I'm stitching it. And once I'm done stitching this one edge, I will just turn over the other side of the band. So this is how one side is. Now after attaching one side of the band, now just turn the other side over the raw edge of the neck and run a stitch. So you can see it's exactly the same as same way of stitching as we do to the uh, Chinese collar. Now run a stitch here. So basically we are done. I have also sewed a button to the other side of the slip. The only thing left is making the loop for the button. So make this loop at the edge of the neck band by using double threaded needle for stability. And make sure to make the loop according to the size of the button. Then secure it to the uh, collar band. Now go over the loop 5-6 times to make it strong enough. Then I secure the loop with the blanket stitch. So this is exactly the same stitch as we do the buttonhole with. So I am doing it to make the loop uh, more strong. And it's done. So thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to stay connected.